Dawn Heron had heard about vitamin D deficiency. She just didn't think it affected her or her family much. I actually didn't realize that it was such a widespread problem. Um, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. A lot of people are more indoors than they should be. We've always looked at vitamin D for bone health and how it helps fight off depression and heart disease. But doctors say in the age of COVID, they're finding another very important benefit of this vitamin most of us don't get enough of. The latest data for COVID, for instance, looks like supplementation of vitamin D could very well help people do better if they get, if they get COVID. Dr. Greg Newman of Baylor Scott & White's Marketplace Clinic says, as do more and more doctors these days, boosting our vitamin D levels seems to help fight off viruses, especially COVID. It seems to have some intricate um, involvement in this, on a cellular level of helping to fight off the virus, both while it's active in our cells and really maybe in preventing it from invading more cells. And he says as doctors gain more experience with this novel coronavirus, they've begun to see a pattern. When we look at evidence-based data that's coming out from across the world, vitamin D keeps coming out ahead for COVID. So he says adults may need to boost their vitamin D supplements past the 800 or so milligrams a day recommended by the CDC to maybe 2,000 a day. That, plus getting a little more sun, may make a difference in catching COVID or not. Dawn Heron certainly believes in doing it for her family. Kids play outside or throw them out whenever it's nice out, and we try and get our vitamin D that way. Fresh air is just so important. I mean, I, I can't emphasize enough how much my my personal feelings about being having your kids be outdoors is just for developmentally and health wise, it's just so important. And now she knows it's especially important for adults too, especially in the age of COVID. In Waco, Dennis Turner, 25 News.